Hello, my dear doctor. I would like to discuss a topic, right, the Crohn's disease management. Crohn's disease is a form of inflammatory bowel disease. It commonly affects the terminal ileum and colon, but uh, may be seen anywhere from the mouth to anus. NICE published guidelines on the management of Crohn's disease in 2012. General points, patients should be strongly advised to stop smoking, so circle the stop smoking. And some studies suggest an increased risk of relapse secondary to NSAIDs and combined oral contraceptive pill, but the evidence is patchy. Inducing remission. Glucocorticoids, oral, topical, or IV are generally used to induce remission. Budesonide is an alternative in a subgroup of patients. So circle the glucocorticosteroids or circle the corticoids, all right, that will be helpful. Enteral feeding with an elemental diet may be used in addition to or instead of other measures to induce remission. So circle the enteral feeding and elemental diet. So circle the elemental diet. So circle the diet. May be used in addition to or instead of other measures to induce remission, particularly if there is concern regarding the side effects of steroids, for example, in young children. 5 amino salicylic acid means the 5 asha we can say mesalogen are used the second line so circle the second line yes to glucocorticoids but are not as effective as a theoprene or marcaptopurine right the circle the azathioprine or marcaptopurine may be used as an add on medication to induce remission but is not used as monotherapy Methotrexate is an alternative to azathioprine, so circle methotrexate. Infliximab is useful in refractory diseases and fistulating Crohn's. Patients typically continue on azathioprine or methotrexate. So, yes, the infliximab circle the refractory diseases and circle the fistulating disease. And metronidazole is often used for the isolated perianal disease. So circle the metronidazole, circle the perianal. Maintaining remission. Yes, of course, the as above, right? Stop smoking is a priority. Remember, the smoking makes the uh, Crohn's worse, but may help the ulcerative colitis. Azathioprine is a marcaptopurine is the first line to maintain the remission. So circle the azathioprine, marcaptopurine, first line, circle remission, all right. Methotrexate is used as a second line in maintenance remission. Five ASHA drugs like the mesalazine should be considered if a patient has had the previous surgery. So surgery, around 80% of the patients with Crohn's disease will eventually have the surgery, yes. And it's written that this is the thiopurine methyl transfer is the TPMT circular activity before offering azathioprine or marcaptopurine. So yes, my dear, just look at the board, the summary talk that I'd like to discuss, right? So Crohn's disease management, the S's box once again. Crohn's disease management, of course, so the box should be the inducing, all right? First box, that should be the inducing remission. So inducing remission, what I'm saying, that is really important, my dear. So the Crohn's disease inducing management, so is nothing but the CD, CD for Crohn's disease, and CD, what now this CD means, inducing CD, just write it down, C stands on the corticosteroids, just write it down. CD, C for the corticosteroids, are generally used to induce the remission, is written in your notes, right? And these tense on the diets, just say with me, my dear, that would be helpful, yes, once again. The C for corticosteroids, D for diet, C for corticosteroids, D for diet. So yes, we can write the way here, writing, so these will be helpful, D for diet, and diet, E plus E, yes, enteral feeding with elemental diet instead of other measures. 
Yes. Second, second line treatment. Yes, second line treatment. I'm just putting that will be helpful, my dear. Yes, inducing regressions. So this is the first line we can write. This is the first line. The second line group of drugs we can write. C, D stands on. Next is the M is that will be helpful. M is nothing but the mesalagine. Just write it down, mesalagine. Yes, my dear, M stands on the mesalagine. Just remember, right. This is very important, my dear. Just write it down, the second line. The mesalagine is nothing but the, yes, the second line group of drugs. Once again, the add-on group of drugs, yes, the first line and second line, whatever the drugs we are using, we are add-on therapy plus, we can write plus, once again, the plus M stands on, we can write like that plus M stands on, Marcaptopurine, yes, you can write the Marcaptopurine, so we can write Marcaptor, MCP means the Marcaptor purine, just write it down. And uh, Marcaptor purine or azathioprine. So within the bracket azathioprine, we can write the azathioprine. That will be helpful. And the alternative drugs, once again, or MAT for MTX, that is, we are writing the methotrexate, uh, short form, that will be helpful, my dear. And this drug is in plus group of drug, means that can be added the mesalazine with the marcaptopurine or methotrexate. And small box of the TPMT here, TPMT activity should be measured, it's written that before starting the azathioprine or marcaptopurine. The way I'm writing my dear SS box, just write it down, that will be helpful. Yes, so the next is said that the infliximab the refractory diseases are the influx map. So you can write down the step and next M once again, I'm writing the map. Map means, yes, once again, this is influx, yes, yes, the map, influx map. So mind you, what I'm saying, right, the inducing treatment, you see, right, inducing treatment, once again, the last talk um, stands on the mat metronidazole. I'm writing the metro. And this metro is used for the perianal disease. Just write it down, the perianal. And within the bracket of the influx map, just write it down. That is only used the uh, refractory cases. Refractory cases. Oh, sometimes you're using the... Uh, Fistulating cross or circling the fistulating, all right. So these three M box and the first box with the first and second line. So we can write the inducing management of Crohn's disease is nothing but we can write the CDM, the box. You see the next topic, right? The B, Crohn's disease inducing management. We are writing the maintenance treatment. So maintenance, maintaining, all right? Maintaining. So maintaining treatment means the revisions. It said that the first priority is the stop smoking, all right? Stop smoking. Yes, just write it down. And it's written that the marcaptopurine, yes, we can write the, once again the marcaptopurine, yes, or as a theoprine within the bracket. Yes, 
markup to period or as a tip range, the first line once again is the first line to maintain the remission and MTX once again is a second line in the in maintaining the remission and also the mesalagin should be considered if a patient has had the previous surgery so he has the mesalagin also mesalagin yes should be considered if the patient had the had surgery just write it down that I am writing my dear that will be helpful all right so it's a separate box for the mesalagin and this is the box for the MCP means the mercaptopurin as well as the methotrexate so this treatment is a very hot topic my dear so as this box once again the Crohn's disease I'd like to discuss a little bit more so that it would be really helpful, all right. Let's talk a bit more, right? The Crohn's disease, the summary box is the CDM, my dear, what I'm saying? Crohn's disease is nothing but the CDM. Just say with me, CDM, right? C for corticosteroids and D for diet. C for corticosterone, D for diet, and these diet sometimes during the young children so are intolerant to the corticosteroids and we are also avoiding the corticosteroids. So the diet, only the diet can be the first line. So CDM is very important and yes, once again, mesalagin is the second line next to the first line, next to the first line, the second line, and the mesalagin. So what I'm saying, the inducing treatment is the CDM, and the maintenance treatment, you see, the, all the treatment is the M. M rule here, and here is the CDM rule, all right? Let's see the plus. We can write a big plus here, along with the treatment with the markup to M, stands for the markup to purin, get the name fast and or the methotrexate and then the M stands on the MAB means the yes the influx MAB M stands on the metronidazole so say the markup to purin azathioprine yes methotrexate and M stands on the MAB influx MAB and M stands on the metronidazole for the perianal disease And maintenance treatment, you see the maintenance treatment only the M. M for, I'm just making mocking. Mocking means smoking. Stop smoking is a very important priority. A small box will be helpful, my dear, here. Because you say that the stop smoking will help the Crohn's disease, but stop smoking can exacerbate the ulcerative colitis. So a slight box, CD and ulcerative colitis here about the mocking I'm writing here. Smoking, yes, the stop smoking. These will help, these will help the Crohn's disease about the maintenance remission. But for the ulcerative colitis is exacerbate, all right? So you can write the maintenance remission, Crohn's disease, it will help. And in contrast, the ulcerative colitis, you see the contrast is very important. And next point, you see the mocking, marcaptopurin, marcaptopurin and methotrexate, marcaptopurin and methotrexate, marcaptopurin and methotrexate, marcaptopurin is the first line, methotrexate is the second line. And mesalagin can be also used if the patient having had the surgery earlier. So the summary talk is the CD management is a CDM. What I'm saying, my dear? Say with me, CD management is a CDM, CDM, CDM. That will be helpful. C for corticosteroids. C for corticosteroids. D for diet is the first line to induce the remissions. All right, C for corticosteroids, D for diet. Diet, D, E, E once again. So E for elemental, E for enteral diet. Central feeding and elemental diet. Sometimes you're reading for the 
children only died, only died for the first line. And M for mesalagin is the inducing remission. Along with, we are adding plus. We are adding the marcaptipurine methotrexate, marcaptipurine azathioprine methotrexate. Marcaptipurine methotrexate, marcaptipurine azathioprine methotrexate. M stands on the MAB, M stands on the matronidazole. Marcaptipurine, MAB, matronidazole. Marcaptipurine, MAB, matronidazole. Marcaptipurine, methotrexate, MAB, matronidazole. Yes. Maintenance treatment, once again, the M rule, M for mocking, marcaptipurine, azathioprine, methotrexate, once again, the MDX is the second line here. Same thing, all right. So mesalagine can be added like that. So this is all about the treatment is, if you can remember, only Crohn's disease treatment is the CDM. That will be helpful, my dear. Yes.